All right, looking at this problem, so we got an x cubed and an x squared and an x in all three terms, uh, in all three of those terms respectively, I should say. So that means that we certainly can factor out an x from all three terms. But not only that, but all three of the terms have uh, even coefficients. So I know I can factor out at least a 2. But it looks like we can take those even further and just factor out a 4. Because 36 is divisible by 4 and so is 80. So that's what I'm going to do to start this problem. Is I'm going to factor out a 4x. And what does that leave me with on the inside of the parentheses? Looks like I would have an x squared plus 36 divided by 4 is 9. And I'd have 1x left over. Plus 80 divided by 4 is 20. And we got rid of the 1x that was factored out. So no matter how we slice it, we're going to have this 4x no matter what. But on the inside of this other set of parentheses, again, if you use the rule, it would be a little bit quicker. But I want to look at 20, and I need two factors of 20 that add up to 9. So 1 and 20, that's not going to work. If they were negative, no good. So yeah, some of you guys already know it's 5 and 4. Some of you guys may have tried 2 and 10 first, which wouldn't have worked either. So 5 and 4, when I add these two together, that gives me my 9, which is the B value. So I'm going to split 9x up into a 5x, and I will add that to 4x. And of course, we got x squared plus that 5x plus 4x plus 20. I know, again, if some of you guys use the rule, you're finished by this point, which is okay. But we're looking at factoring by grouping. So I'm going to need a big set of parentheses here. Let's factor out these two. I'm going to factor out an x, which leaves me with x plus 5 on the inside of the parentheses. And then out of these two, which I'm adding, I can factor out a positive 4, which leaves me with x plus 5. Now we have the two terms, both of which have a common factor of the x plus 5. And in the second set of parentheses, we've got the x plus the 4, which was all that remained there. And I don't see any perfect squares or perfect cubes there. So I'm going to call that one good.